and welcome to Israel Today. This is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel. I have to admit that my wife and I are very blessed to be able to live in the land of Israel. But if I told you that I did not want to live here or visit here, most of you would probably be shocked. My wife and I first met in Maryland, where I was preparing to go to college. At that time, I was a new believer and loved the Lord, and I would go anywhere or do anything he asked of me. However, for some strange reason, though, I had my mind made up that I did not want to go to Israel. My thinking at the time was, I am Jewish, so why do I need to visit Israel? I wanted to go everywhere else in the world but Israel. My wife, on the other hand, well, that is the only place she wanted to go to, and in fact, move there. Not realizing, of course, that you have to prove that you're Jewish to have permanent residency. It was 1997 and my wife and I were in Albany, New York at a conference called Flame of Yah, for those of you who might remember it. They only had it two years in a row from 97 to 98. This conference had a lot of big name or soon to be big name speakers and worshipers such as Sid Roth, Dick Rubin, Mike Bickle, Paul Wilbur, and Joanne McFadder, just to name a few. Little did I know that I was being set up by God. At the first conference, there was a man who was speaking about Israel and told everyone, if you have a heart for Israel, then come on down here so I may pray for you. Well, it was a no-brainer for me. Of course I have a heart for Israel. After all, I'm Jewish. Remember? If I'd known what was coming next, I probably would not have gone up there. But being the obedient dumb sheep that I am, I followed the rest of the flock and stood in line. When it was my turn to be prayed for, all I know is that I went down wailing like a baby. I never had that happen before, and I've never had that happen since. On top of that, I do not know how long I was on the floor sobbing, maybe 30, 45 minutes, or even an hour. When I was finally able to start composing myself a bit, starting to sit up, one of the young men that worked there comes over, lays his prayer shawl on me, and starts telling me that God is commissioning me from that day forward, that I'm going to Israel, and to top it off, he even broke anti-Semitism off of my parents. Okay, I'll take the commissioning part, but the other two items, well, this guy surely has missed it and is a false prophet in my book, or so I thought. So I did the right thing, got off the floor, took his prayer shawl back to him, and questioned him about my parents being anti-Semitic. I told him, I'm Jewish and so are both my parents, so why would you break anti-Semitism off of them? He looks at me and asks, do they know Jesus? I said no. Then they're being anti-Semitic, he said. I've never forgotten our conversation because his answer put me on tilt for a very long time and because of his dead-on accuracy. Since I'm about out of time, I will close with this. At the following year's conference, there was a man standing behind us, and he very clearly heard the Lord say to him to tell us, get ready to go. Also told us that this was his first time he spoke a word from the Lord. If you want to get in touch with us or get on our mailing list, visit branchofisrael.com. Again, this is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel. Thank you so much for listening. Lahit Goodbye, or see you again.